All right, uh, we'll get started here. Uh, to my right, Cole Masick, Bob Bradshaw, and Jeremy Tim. Uh, go ahead, uh, Ken. Thanks, Ahmad. Uh, a terrific offensive performance by your whole team and uh, and yourself. But just tell us, did you were you able to execute the kind of plays that you wanted to uh, from the very start? Um, yeah, I think we did a good job uh, up front at uh, just playing hard and getting guys down to the ground on the perimeter. Uh, I think we executed well. And just on your first touchdown when you went. Uh, 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 60 yards. Uh, it looked like you made a move to the left, and then you saw a big hole to your right, and you just put it on the speed. Well, tell us about the play. Yeah, it was just a um, triple option play, and I saw a big hole, like you said, and I just took it. It was great blocking downfield on my receivers, and off of the line did a really good job. And then uh, the next touchdown uh, was that pitch play to Jordan Asbury. Uh, isn't your offense seems so much more wide open when Jordan's involved in the game and you get the ball out to him? Oh, yeah, Jordan's a uh, very good player. He's all of our slots have really good speed, and they make the game easier for me when I get it to them. And I know that they're going to run, run hard and, and, and get, a, get a good amount of yards. So he's done a good job with us. And they just asked Jeremy on the defense. You uh, you forced a lot of punts today. You had a couple of gave up a few uh, pass plays. How did how did you do on defense? How did you feel you executed your game plan today? Uh, I thought overall we executed good. I, I think we uh, let off the pedal there in the second quarter towards the. Uh, Time, but uh, I think overall, we played very well. And I thought that one play uh, where Ken Brinson had a sack, you know, ended a drive. Just tell us about that and uh, kind of the play of, uh, you know, of, of the linebackers, your fellow linebackers. Yeah, so Kenny is, uh, he plays next to me and uh, he, he does a phenomenal job and he really brings the pressure to the, uh, the boundary side. And uh, I think Ackerman and Andrew just as well. I mean, they're fiery players and they go out with a passion. And, it really brings pressure to the pass game. And Cole, uh, Cole, just going to ask you, you had 100 yards today. Uh, maybe just talk about it. I saw some big holes opening up for you. Uh, tell us about the play of your offensive line in front of you. Uh, absolutely. Uh, the offensive line played fantastic. Uh, I was blessed with an opportunity today to, to go in. Um, fortunately, Andy was hurt uh, with his status. But uh, the offensive line played absolutely amazing. Uh, I was making great reads, giving me the ball when I needed it, uh, taking it away from me when, it, when the line would crash down. And, uh, and credit to the offensive line, they played absolutely amazing. We're looking forward to, to North Texas. All right, go ahead, Jim. Uh, Cole, just uh, building on that a little bit up here. Um, just building on that, uh, on that thought a little bit, um, the next man up mentality of this team. I mean, Andy goes down, you're stepping in. Christian goes down a couple weeks ago, Edgar's stepping in. How important is that, that depth and in, in to see results by everybody? Uh, no matter what role they're playing and where they might have been starting the year. Oh, it's it's uh, it's very important, and that just goes back to practice. Uh, uh, coming with the press with the right mindset, maybe you're the third guy, or the second guy, uh, and just always being ready and working hard and get better each and every day, because uh, you never know when you're going to be called. And I, I've done that since camp, and I've, I've just tried to continuously get better and perfect my craft. And and those guys, Darnell and Andy, are fantastic running backs, and, and I'm behind them. And, and uh, you know, two two plays away from being the guy, so uh, I took advantage of opportunities today. And, and fortunately, the, the offensive line and, and the whole entire offense wasn't clicked today, so it was good. How does it just feel for you personally to get the playing time and, and make results, create plays, and, and, and get the job done? Uh, it, it feels good. It, it does. Um, it, it feels great to win and be a part of uh, a winning team and, and to to contribute to uh, to an organization and to to the brotherhood. And, and you know, I, I've been waiting for an opportunity all year, and, and fortunately, I was proposed with today, so it feels great. And uh, Jeremy, do you feel you guys played a complete game today, four quarters, all three phases uh, across the board? I mean, I think our team played very well. There's definitely always an improvement that our, our team's going to need throughout the week. I mean, so we, I think, at the latter part of the second quarter, we kind of let off the pedal a bit, but I think we came out in the second half and really finished strong. How can you, or can you, bring this into next week and keep this momentum going. I mean, we just got to hit the practice. I mean, we got practice tomorrow. We're going to come back, be in the film room, learn from our mistakes, and uh, just get right back at it. I mean, North Texas is a good team, and we need to prepare. And Ahmad, uh, I mean, tons of rushing. Obviously, you guys are always leaning on the rush, but to have a nice game like today, and not only just one person contribute, but have a bunch of guys contribute, What's the, what kind of confidence does that give you in the team's offense, and rushing, and in passing, too? I mean, it's, it's always a blessing to have multiple guys that can make plays. You never know who, who's going to make a play at any time. And uh, I, I take, I'm take i glad that we have that 
you know, available. I know the amount of guys that can make those plays, so I'm thankful for it. I'm about to talk about the touchdown pass to Jacob, and I mean, it was a good throw and a good catch. I mean, it's on the run a little bit, right? Yeah, he um, actually overthrew him in one game, like in the past, I think it was UTEP, and he, you know, I promised him that I'll give him a touchdown pass, and he has the highest vertical on the team, and I told him all he'll get, so I mean, he made a great catch and came down with it. Anybody out there, can you just talk about what practice was like this week and maybe coach's message to respect this opponent here? You know, not to take them lightly this week. Yeah, I mean, uh, we never we never try to take our opponents lightly. I mean, uh, we struggle in the past, so we know what kind of team we are. I mean, we're going to come out this week and give it our all, really focus in the film room, start the week off. Get the coaches always do a great job of making up a game plan, and uh, they're very good teachers, and uh, we're just going to try to follow on this and get ready for North Texas. Just to ask, uh, Jeremy, just what was it like? You were played on the road for a month, and you come back, and you get to play in front of a packed house and the core cadets. What was the atmosphere like for you? Yeah, I missed home, if that uh, sums up anything. I mean, it, it's really nice to be home. It's, a, it's tough to travel. It's late nights, late weekends. Uh, you're just tired all the time. So it's, it's going to be nice to have this home game, especially we'll have more rest time this weekend. We'll be even more prepared for next week. Thanks, guys.